सो हेलो एंड वेलकम पीपल यू गैस वुड बी ऑब्जर्विंग की थोड़ा डिफरेंट माहौल है इस बार जूम रिकॉर्डिंग का नहीं है माहौल इस बार ऑनलाइन नहीं है हम लोग साथ में बैठे हुए हैं यहाँ पे सो वी एट सी एस आर लाइव है कम अप विद न्यू सीरीज कॉल इन रियालिटी एंड यहाँ पे वी विल बेसिकली ट्राई टू शो यू द एग्जैक्ट एंड एक्चुअल वर्किंग ऑफ एन ऑर्गेनाइजेशन और कॉरपोरेट और एन एन जी ओ की असलियत में काम होता कैसे है आखिर और यहाँ पे कैसे वर्किंग्स होती हैं ऑन ग्राउंड रियालिटी क्या है ऑन ग्राउंड काम कैसे हो रहा है और हम उन्हीं के ऑफिस में आके उनसे कोलेबरेट करके उनके साथ बातें करके आपको ये सब चीज़ें बताएंगे सो नाउ फर्स्टली थैंक यू सो मच पहले तो मैम का रुशाली मैम का और अपलिफ्ट ऑर्गेनाइजेशन का वी लाइक टू थैंक दम लॉर्ड टू स्टार्ट दिस विद अस एंड बी द पाइनियर्स ऑफ दिस सीरीज विद अस सो फर्स्टली फ्रॉम ऑल आर साइड वेलकम टू सी एस आर लाइव मैम वेलकम ऑन द इन रियालिटी सीरीज ऑफ आस एंड वृशाली मैम इज बेसिकली द रीजनल मैनेजर for mumbai the program manager for mumbai for the uplift organization and ma'am overlooks all the workings and uh, programs happening in the city of mumbai regarding uplift and you know collaborations and everything is uh, ma'am's responsibility to look for so now to start with our conversation sabse pehle main ma'am se puchna chahunga ye journey ma'am start kaise hui uplift ki how did exactly uplift came into existence aur aap kab se uplift ka ek part hai right so uh, ye journey to it began in 2002 when we were a very small group of practitioners working in the development sector i would say uh, basically the volunteers and uh, then we were uh, searching for the health insurance uh, practitioner health insurance company solution for our members uh, because of uh, an unfortunate death of a women member of our group so uh, yeah the we we called upon the commercial uh, health insurance representatives they came up and they did a good presentation in front of our members and then uh, after the presentation one of our lady uh, members asked the representative of the commercial insurance company that uh, look uh, you gave gave us this presentation but what happens to my money if i don't fall sick the representatives uh, the representative then uh, told us ki see the money remains with the insurance company as a profit then that member the lady member she said ki oh that means i don't have any incentive being healthy yeah. because if i am healthy you are making the money correct okay so this all struck us and uh, we thought no it's not the so commercial insurance is not enough or that's not the solution it's not the solution not the answer so we we wanted to know more yeah. so we surveyed around 900000 families in the community of pune communities of pune mm. we were working from pune uh, mm. that time uh, wherein we got to know different health needs of the communities right. and those were like uh, they wanted just not the money they wanted to know the right uh provider mm. the right treatment the right cost of the mm. health mm. so that is how we started uh with this model mm. where actually uh community comes together so mm. this is community based health insurance model you can you generally uh, it's known as micro insurance right. so we are mm. a not for profit company working mm-hmm. uh, in the field of micro insurance so, so that is how we started basically so this is like a new angle that we'll see uh, you know that will be a different from other ngos working in the yes. health sector yes. that uh, uplift is not only working in the curative part here that uh, yeah uh, if you are yeah, so in health fact we are also, not uh, curative or exactly, promotive uh, we are into health insurance health community insurance based market, health correct, insurance correct. that that's what so we basically are. if somebody uh, if if especially if poor people or people who don't have the uh, same yeah, uh, you know, opportunity we can say unorganized sector unorganized sector yeah also, we are absolutely. working for unorganized sector yeah. we, uh, which has um, different yeah. health needs Correct. and we are trying to have the health financing Bilkul. for them Bilkul. so yeah. so we are in the middle of uh, the health and, and commercial insurance correct. or health financing correct. that's what we are doing so ma'am when did, when when uh, uplift uh, started and you you told us like you uh, surveyed 9000 families and everything and it must have been very hectic pehli baat to 9000 logo se ja ke ek survey lena hai ye ek bahut badi cheez hai kyunki aapko fir as we keep mentioning in reality samajh mein aata hai ki kya ho raha hai and situation yeah. aake yeah. hai kaise kyunki yeah. theoretically or practically cheeze bahut alag ho jati hain kai baar to what were the basic things that you found out while taking those surveys that that made you guys so passionate about 
you know doing this and making uplift reach where it is as of today see uh, to answer this basically we need to understand the background of the mm. health in india mm. uh, in india 70% of uh, the health expenses are out of pocket mm. almost 40 million people are going below poverty line every year mm -hmm. and um, uh, the, the the second highest reason of taking a loan is health right. so uh, one uh, big health incident in any mm. family you know push them mm, mm. in debt and in challenges mm. that they can you know they might not recover soon or ever that right. is the a scenario and that's what actually we found out, out from the service when All we right. did that so that's why we thought of mm -hmm. uh, taking people together mm -hmm. and uh, building a model where mm -hmm. people are responsible mm -hmm. people are participating mm -hmm. and uh, they are not transferring the risk to a third party like a commercial insurance company All but right. in fact they are managing their risk on their own Absolutely. So our community-based uh, uh, health insurance model is based on uh, this philosophy, and this is the basis of it that mm. it is community-owned, mm. community-led, mm. and community-participatory. That's so, amazing. Ye, ye teen hai apne yeah, and we are, we are we are pioneer yeah, uh, in, in India. Uh, absolutely. That's what I was saying. That this is a differentiator. Hai within other organizations in uplift that i have been seeing that uh, this micro insurance part this uh, uh, health insurance part is something new because this is not also as similar to commercial insurances this is for the people who lack opportunities and unko help karne ke liye so you guys have mixed both of the yes we are together. combination in the yeah. middle of the health and the commercial insurance correct, correct. Yeah. so now so ma'am starting mein jab you guys went out and aap log ne survey kiya aap logo ko pata chala aisa you guys started uplift to kaha se what was the first project or that you can yeah, remember so, that you so we started? were working um, uh, with livelihood organizations uh, in and around pune mm -hmm. urban and rural of pune mm -hmm. then a uh, few organizations in uh, the rural maharashtra also mm -hmm. so we started from that then we slowly expanded uh, so Uh, we are registered from 2004, and the journey has been. Uh, we set up nine mutuals around three uh, lakhs of people, where uh, you know they were uh, involved. Uh, the nine mutuals were sustainable, and then uh, 2015-16 on uh, onwards, mm. we went into BOT, build, operate, transfer model, yeah. or BO model. Mm. Uh, wherein people owned uh, mm. the mutuals and they uh, started running on their own health insurance mm. and now uh, so slowly moving from only working with uh, small groups we mm. started working after 2016 we started working with different groups like a group of uh, construction workers mm. hotel workers mm. uh, aided schools um, mm. and now from last one and a half year we uh, we started working with the truck drivers also so All we right. entered into truck driver mutuals alright and um, yeah so now uh, from last year uh, this is our new venture with yeah. uh, i mean which is supported by us aid mm -hmm. and uh, psi Um, right. organization right. here wherein we are uh, taking this model uh, to the communities and mm. we are we have entered sort of into retail uh, kind of a thing got it got it so yeah, uh, ma'am you said uh, you have started working with truck drivers now and uh, even this is this new model is supported by the usaid and how was that journey uh, how did uplift reach how did this whole uh, usaid come into the picture how did that start so basically um, i would say that uh, see health and that to insurance health insurance mm. is a completely invisible product True. i mean uh, we can plan for my daughter's wedding mm. the sister's wedding and things like that mm. but planning for your health and mm. uh, buying an insurance and mm. before to covid it was yeah. i would say uh, uske baad zyada logo ke mann mein aa gaya at least uh, we know there is something called covid ne hila to so, diya logo yeah that has been the challenge and then uh, usa then Uh, such organizations have uh, come forward in the past also to mm. su support uh, such things because Correct. typically it takes um, one to three years to uh, you know uh, run uh, and make a group sustainable Correct. Uh, on running their health insurance Correct. 
so yeah so that is how we started and in the in the covid time basically uh, we were i mean truck drivers were working for us you know we were at home but they were so we we uh, try to get the commercial insurance from mm. for them but no one came forward Alright. So at that time, IP Global and other organizations yeah. came in who um, said no. Okay, we can support they you for their insurance. Uh, uplift, uh, yeah, and that is when first time, in fact, uplift um, went from the typical coverage mm-hmm. of mm-hmm. fifteen thousand or a twenty-five thousand mm-hmm. to a lakh of lakh, one lakh of rupees. So like double uh, yes, increase. Yes, four times higher yeah, than no. uh, what we used to do. That's actually, that's amazing. That's very nice. Yeah, and now from one uh, last one year, ten thousand plus truck drivers are enrolled with us, mm-hmm. and uh, so insurance is the main thing. Mm-hmm. But of course, um, uh, you know, preventive uh, care yeah. has been our key thing Correct. also. So uh, we are. Uh, uh, I would say our aim is to provide the right uh, treatment and the right care and the right Correct. cost to uh, people, not to uh, let them fall sick. Correct. And if someone is uh, sick, then a uh, part of their hospitalization expenses mm-hmm. will be supported by the mutual. By, by the mutual. So yeah, that so is it. So basically, firstly, you prevent from uh, people from getting sick, and secondly, if they do. then you give them the support that is needed because uh, as we all know health is expensive right. uh, and health is very expensive and the better the facility you want to get the more expensive it gets so right. that is absolutely there so we spoke about covid may how you uh, uplift focused on the truck drivers and how that idea pioneered from there yeah but not stuff. only truck drivers we did Other a people, lot of uh, yes a lot else of did you did uplift do during covid time what so was the covid purpose? may we uh, see uh, for people or for anyone it was difficult to get yeah. out of the houses Correct. to get the care so our doctors did a um, lot of consultations going in the community All so right. we uh, we do run our mobile vans All wherein right. uh, the people were given the free uh, consultations and the medicines right. because, because uh, you know it was like a step away Bilkul. at their doorsteps so we did a lot of uh, opds also we ran a 24 by 7 medical helpline All right. So, uh, for any question or a support or a care, you know, they could uh, call on our helpline, mm-hmm. where a doctor would answer the call and navigate the person to a proper uh, healthcare provider. All right. So basically, a communication you you made Channel, it easier. Yeah. You made Teleconsultations it also we did, mm-hmm. and in fact, that uh, it was a bit more challenging mm-hmm. because we are typically a ground organization mm-hmm. who worked uh, very much face to face with our members, Correct. but. Uh, this was the time you know when uh, it teached us uh, mm, to use uh, use the technology to leverage the technology and today's yeah. time we have to leverage the technology right. because everything is shifting on cloud now everything is happening right. there right. so uh, ma'am that's amazing the work uplift does and has been doing and i'm sure will do in the future is all great but now we have to come because every good work comes with a lot of challenges and we all know it and especially running a non profit running uh, a non profit in the health sector especially that to differentiating yourself by doing insurance and micro yes. insurance what are the basic challenges that you or the organization has been facing so uh, the the main challenge for us is distribution all right Uh, see, this is I would say a bit complex. Uh, uh, health insurance is complex, okay. and a product wherein a lot of uh, community intervention participation mm-hmm. uh, uh, is there. Mm-hmm. So our products are designed by uh, by the community. Okay. They are implemented by the community. Mm-hmm. um so many health services i would say or the preventive services that we are providing mm. are always people led wow. they are people so uh this has been highly i would say high touch mm. uh, model mm. but now if we want to 
take it to larger number mm. uh, that's a big challenge uh, for us so we always look for partners who are already into livelihood uh, mm-hmm. the who already who are, has established yes, distribution established. channel yeah if yeah. Uh, if mm. partners like them ca- uh. come forward understand this model because this mm. is a very different model correct. people either understand a charitable health correct, correct, uh, correct. health services like mm. mobile vans and other yeah. things mm. or people understand the commercial insurance but mm. this is we are in between correct so we want partners who can mm. understand this and mm. if they can take this to uh, number so that is one challenge so that i would basically say basically increases your strength a lot yes. because they already have established channels to yes. easier ho jata hai to make them understand it and share your distribution channel right. as well right 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 so that is our main mm. challenge i would say all right all right and, and other others uh, could be um, so the the second thing is also creating the awareness uh, about this mm. problem because we are not a, per se a big big brand uh. Uh, it's also uh, difficult to create the credibility um, mm. in the community mm. uh, to get the acceptance in the community Correct. the main uh, issue is there is no regulation for uh for a model like us in india oh so we are not supported by so we are legal uh-huh. but we are not supported by any regulation in india correct so uh, yes people ask us and mm-hmm. that's a big challenge to create the credibility to make them understand ki what exactly is happening now yes. it will help you because it is i think in india there is an audience of course there are people who need yeah. your help yeah. but yeah. un tak pahunch ke unko ye samjha pana ki hum aapki madad kar sakte hain aur unka bharosa jeet pana no and in fact in fact wo khud ki madad kar sakte hai i would say they can the, uh, we have a, we have a group of uh, women mm-hmm. jo rajasthan ke dungarpur jaise mm-hmm. uh, tribal area se hai mm-hmm. uh, there are bachatgarh federations and they are running this mutual from 2012 amazing that's, that's so uh, i mean you imagine uh, a woman who is not a literate maybe mm. but you know there are thousands of women and families coming together Beautiful. and taking care of uh, their help so yes awareness mm. and credibility trust is a mm. brand is also yeah. a, a, a big challenge for us mm. um yeah and again we need uh, such partners so, to come up uplift works with the government as well yeah so specially we have been working but now from uh, last 2 uh, years 1 and 1/2 years i would say that we are working very uh, closely, closely with government with uh, mainly for the referrals Right. so we are the referral point mm-hmm. for the communities to uh, take them or to guide them to the health posts okay government health posts All which right. are typically you might know them as uh-huh. uh, primary health post primary Correct. health care centers Correct. so we are referring the patients to them mm-hmm. for the ncds mm-hmm. uh, we are monitoring so mm-hmm. non communicable diseases like uh, bp sugar mm. diabetes so for, for that uh, mm. we are a referral point for tb cases we are a referral point mm. uh, we are also uh, supporting the uh, pregnant women mm. uh, so anc and pnc so post delivery uh, mm. whatever care and the mm. services which are provided by the government we are guiding the women to do that mm. uh, for the immunization of the children Right. uh so we so work with the, the communities exactly so all the schemes those mm-hmm. are um, uh, you know given by the, the government we Correct. are a referral point and a guidance point right. to support them all right so ma'am government ke sath kaam karna can have its own challenges i'm sure and yeah. i'm sure the organization <laughs> also must have faced some not saying challenge always in a negative way but like even having the same pace of working having the same way of working might be a, you know might be a problematic thing here so are there any challenges that you would like to tell us about that you guys yeah show sure. when we started uh, very closely we have been working but very mm. closely we started working with uh, especially with the urban health posts you know mm. the challenge has been uh, i mean their question was like we are already here why do we need you Mm, correct but we understand that with uh, with the, the, the kind of resources that we uh, had or mm. we have in the health post they have multiple things to uh, carry on mm-hmm. you know so uh, it took us a lot of time to tell them look we are not here to replace you it's like you. Yeah. yes yeah, yes yes correct. so we are here to complement mm-hmm. you uh, in yeah. fact and but now it's it's wonderful mm-hmm. in fact we uh, we work very closely with them mm-hmm. they do look at us mm-hmm. uh, there are a, a very good referral kind of a system mm-hmm. that has been mm-hmm. built uh, now over the years with right. them so let's start so, maybe yeah yeah, yeah. 
yeah it was very difficult of course mm. to tell them who we are it's and especially when we are not a typical ngo correct, doing correct, some charitable correct, work correct. and also yeah absolutely <laughs> So uh, it's always a little tough in the start where you have to go and make them understand yeah. that I'm, we are here to basically support you, Definitely. not uh, not to replace your work or whatever, not to adhere to what you are doing, but we are here to complement your work of as course, well. Of course. Absolutely. So, ये तो मैम हमने बात की government के challenges की, in general challenges की. So I want कि आप थोड़ा हमें ये बताएं कि exactly ऐसे on ground activities जो होती हैं uplift की and uh, What uh, the organization does on ground, वो कैसे मतलब क्या क्या on ground activities है आप लोग कैंप सेटअप करते हो आप लोग क्या एम्बुलेंसेज चलती हैं सो अगेन आई विल टेल यू वी आर नॉट जस्ट द हेल्थ सेक्टर ऑर्गेनाइजेशन we are uh, a not for profit organization mm. who is working in the health insurance Correct. and mm. the community uh, based health insurance mm. so typically we work with the communities or a group mm. okay they are on boarded mm-hmm. with us mm-hmm. and um, so you can say they become the part of the mutual mm-hmm. so they become the mutual members all right um they contribute Uh, which we can uh, you can call it as a premium typically mm-hmm. or yeah, we we call it as a contribution or a mm-hmm. membership fee mm-hmm. so they contribute in the mutual yeah. and um, uh, then uh, because of that mm-hmm. uh, first help of course uh, mm-hmm. is that they get a cover correct health insurance mm-hmm. cover but yes uh, for us uh, preventive services health mm-hmm. services play a major role correct. because they work like a gatekeeping keeping mechanism for mm-hmm. us correct absolutely you know so that's why i said we try to see that uh, people don't fall sick mm-hmm. and for that we do a lot of um, mm-hmm. uh i would say uh, work with mm-hmm. the communities mm-hmm. and even community work with us so their participation is a key mm-hmm. okay starting from if we want to introduce a product kitna mm-hmm. cover hona chahiye correct payment capacity kya hai correct. so we call it as ki product designing unhi se hota hai acha to wo inspiration udhar se aate hai ki kaise actually uh, designed kuch mm-hmm. products or experiences mm-hmm. aaj jo dikh raha hai waise mm-hmm. hum the nahi so we have uh, failed uh, we have again got up uh, you no know, boosted uh, our sales when we started i mean it was so difficult now aaj jo dikh raha hai that's uh, that's a model of uh, i would say more than 20 years we invested in this and today yeah, what we are here so people come together mm-hmm. uh, they decide they choose the product right. it's like we do the fgds focus mm-hmm. group discussions with them mm-hmm. they give their feedbacks they say mm-hmm. okay what they want all right uh, so that is uh, first uh, part mm-hmm. i would say then the implementation launching starts and depending on the group it differs all so right. working in retail we go house to house we mm-hmm. promote the product mm-hmm. we uh, explain them and then they become a part so of you, the so you directly uh, talk to people to and they yes. have and directly contact them yes right. so okay. it, uh, there are many uh, different i would say uh, ways we are doing this mm-hmm. because yes it's it's difficult mm-hmm. uh, to go to a very big group like that we, when we okay. don't have any machinery okay. so today we go house to house we can mm-hmm. talk to the community influencers mm-hmm. leaders in the community okay. who can promote uh, i mean promote our product support mm-hmm. we do a lot of enrollment drives mm-hmm. so then uh, people come together and uh, we plan with them the health services also mm-hmm. so we run a uh, medical mobile vans wherein our doctor do the consultations uh, to the members at the community All right. So that is the best part. Our members get it, uh, get uh, these consultations free so of cost. So this mobile van is in uh, uh, all over Mumbai, or yeah. Some so current, area? currently with the project kind uh, Samagra, which is supported okay. by USAID and PSI, uh, uh, we are running it at uh, uh, Santa Cruz and mm-hmm. Kalyan Dombivli. All right. Okay. So Main these thing. areas specifically as of now. Yes. All yes. Right. So three mobile vans are there. Mm-hmm. They are going in the community. Our doctors, which are our doctors, mm-hmm. and not not anyone mm-hmm. voluntarily doing it. So um, uh, mm-hmm. they do the consultations, and this mobile unit is something uh, which is I, I would say a referral point, mm-hmm. uh, a point where the treatments are given, mm-hmm. a point where a lot of health awareness is also mm-hmm. given. 
so uh, members get free consultations with the free medicines primary medicines they also get medicines at discounts mm. so that is um, that is another service which we provide mm. we uh, as i mentioned um, here uh, bp checkup so so ncd ka support jo hai that is been also given um, sugar checkup is done at a very nominal cost mm. so you know that is how um, these units serve the purpose of uh, making people aware mm -hmm. and responsible correct you know where uh, they support uh, to change the health seeking behavior of of, of the community Mm. because see if i am su suffering from diabetic mm. uh, diabetes mm. i may not always go and do a sugar test which is uh, costing me like 100 120 Correct. rupees Correct. just for the test Correct. and then uh then the consultation and other like things you know right, right. Uh, with the truck drivers you know there were many truck drivers who were not ready to come to us and check up because they 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 had a fear in mind ki once i go to a doctor to and get to know kuch to nikal li jayega exactly so mm. you know so here we are making them aware ki look mm. this is like uh, having the specs up correct you know ek matlab it is possible mm. to uh, manage uh, and keep good health mm. with a small uh, bp ka medicine bilkul, bilkul. and having good exercise especially diet, when you get something. to know this when exactly, you get to know exactly. ki aapko itni problem hai to control exactly, ki ja sakti hai rather exactly. than not knowing wo badh jaye to phir dikkat exactly. hogi correct so instead of uh, having a, uh, i would say a fatal incident and mm, a hospitalization correct, correct. we are trying to make the community responsible and aware uh, for their on health so that is how the mutual uh, help mm. basically mm. so uh, as i said uh, we run these uh, mobile vans mm. consultations uh, uh, we provide uh, the discounted medicines mm. we do have a 24 by um, 7 medical helpline helpline you imagine you and me don't have a doctor who, mm. who is available for us on call Absolutely. but our members uh, do have this i would say a That's very specialized a very, service that's a very big opportunity that people are getting because 24/7 helpline matlab aapke paas hamesha koi ek hai jisse aap yes. consult kar sakte ho exactly. and that is a very big relief i'd say yes. especially in a country like india where health is unaffordable to a lot of people and uh, health becomes and as we know uh, a lot of parts in india uh, and uh, uplift would know it much better that unaffordability to ek issue hai and awareness bhi hai people don't know what's wrong with them exactly. people let it be people think ki koi baat nahi yaar ye to hota hai yahan pe ek india mein ye ek bahut badi cheez hai ki aapko sar dard ho raha hai roz agar to koi baat nahi ho raha hoga yaar aise hi hota hai people don't get to the bottom of it jisse wo cheez theek ho sake see most so, of the time my pharmacist is my doctor yeah. because the pharmacist would give me some painkiller and correct. you know i just uh, postpone my fatal health problem. incident yeah this is a very big problem here because the headache could be because of i'm hungry Bilkul. i could have acidity or i Bilkul. could Bilkul. have uh, my increased bp Bilkul. you know Bilkul. it's the doctor who yeah. rightly help uh, mm. you to diagnose it and guide you this is a very valid point that ma'am has brought up that yeah. ye इंडिया में आधे डॉक्टर्स तो फार्मासिस्ट ही होते हैं और फार्मासिस्ट भी नहीं केमिस्ट होते हैं वो जो दुकान पे जाके आप देल टेल देम कि मुझे फीवर है वो अपने हिसाब से पैरासिटामोल दे देंगे तो दैट इज अ वेरी बिग इशू सो दिस हेल्पलाइन कवर्स दैट गैप हियर या एंड इवन द मोबाइल वैन डॉक्टर्स यू नो सो इन केस ऑफ एनी नेविगेशन सपोर्ट इज रिक्वायर्ड और इन केस ऑफ एनी इमरजेंसी सो आई वुड लाइक टू टेल यू वन केस ऑफ फॉर एग्जांपल वी वी ऑफ कोर्स हैव many i would say uh, member beneficiary stories mm -hmm. uh, uh, one i can mention is for example there was a uh, painter uh, you mm -hmm. know in a mm -hmm. on a construction site mm -hmm. uh, uh, he was a husband a spouse of our uh, female member so he was uh, doing the painting and he fell down Oh, okay. without any harness mm. and then uh, you imagine so he fall on the back of course mm. uh, had a major back injury he was taken to the uh, closest private mm. provider healthcare mm. provider where they demanded around 22.5 lakhs of rupees for mm. to to touch him to just to admit said, him basically yeah mm. yeah and uh, of course our member uh, mm. his wife got mm. a call and uh, 
शी वॉज टोल्ड कि ओके इतना इतना पैसा लाओ तब जाके ट्रीटमेंट शुरू होगा एंड ऑल एंड एट दैट टाइम ओनर ऑफ द कंस्ट्रक्शन साइड समाउ मैनेज टू मेक हिम हॉस्पिटलाइज बट नो फर्दर ट्रीटमेंट वॉज स्टार्टेड सो द मेम्बर रिमेम्बर अस शी कॉल्ड ऑन द हेल्पलाइन फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल शी वॉज वेरी पैनिंग इमेजिन एट सच अ सिचुएशन सो आर हेल्पलाइन डॉक्टर जस्ट कंसोल्ड और मेक हर काम सर की ओके वॉट टेल मी वॉट इज इट ही अंडरस्टूड ऑल द सिचुएशन ही सर ओके यू वेट आई विल कॉल यू बैक सो देन आवर हेल्पलाइन डॉक्टर कॉल द हॉस्पिटल वेर इज हर हजबेंड वॉज एडमिटेड he understood how is the situation medically what is the emergency mm-hmm. emergency who is the treating doctor mm-hmm. and you know what can be done uh, so uh, doctor ne usko pehle shant kiya and kaha ki okay i will call you back doctor ne fir jahan pe ye banda admit hua tha he called uh, that hospital he understood the situation medically you know how critical is the yeah. case and all and then uh, the doctor suggested a helpline doctor of uplift mm-hmm. suggested mm-hmm. her that look of course that's a private provider mm. who is going to charge whatever he, the the uh, provider wants to charge you know but the the treating doctor at the private provider also uh, is a visiting faculty to the sasun the biggest public provider mm-hmm. hospital in pune got it got it got okay it, yeah. so if you are ready to shift him you mm. know we'll provide you all the guidance and mm-hmm. support so if you are ready to shift him mm-hmm. uh, we don't know i mean you know uh, of course uh, it's better to yeah. treat in the public uh, uh, thing because otherwise you know she was like ki okay i i will have to sell my chota sa kholi jo bhi hai mm-hmm. whatever and that's what and yeah. I, i think at the at the most i can get 50000 so i don't have the another minimum 2 lakhs of rupees so where can i get that so the person was shifted to the public provider mm. the sasun hospital and jaha pe 2 mahine uska treatment chala mm. uh, he was operated mm-hmm. uh, he only had to buy the rod which mm-hmm. was put in the which was to put in the bag which costed around 25000 mm-hmm. so you imagine from 2.5 to 3 lakhs of rupees his 25. treatment was uh, done in 25000 mm-hmm. and all the support guidance was provided by the अगर उसको ये पता ही नहीं होता एंड अलोन यू इमेजिन कितना पैनिक होती एंड यू नो एट सच टाइम इट्स ऑलवेज द केस की भाई कितना भी पैसा जाए आई वॉन्ट टू ट्रीट माई पर्सन एक ऐसी चीज है जहाँ पे आदमी पैसे कुछ भी नहीं सोचता है पेशेंट इन सच अ क्रिटिकल सिचुएशन फ्रॉम अ प्राइवेट प्रोवाइडर टू अ पब्लिक हॉस्पिटल यू इमेजिन इट्स लाइक ऑलमोस्ट इम्पॉसिबल फॉर अ फॉर एन इंडिविजुअल to take such critical Absolutely. decision it can only be done because uplift is there and the doctors are uh, there uh, correct. with correct correct guidance thi ek correct and support ek support tha. hai na doctor hai to we can take that That's so this is what our helpline does mm-hmm. helpline also uh, takes a lot of follow up uh, because he doing a referral mm-hmm. anyone can do you know but it's not easy Correct. because aapne mujhe bol diya ki okay ye referral letter ro aur uh, is hospital mein jao aur khud ka ye test karwao hmm. it's not that easy i uh, i imagine that are nahi main kal theek ho jaungi hmm. i imagine that main wahan pe jaungi to mera ek din ka ya half day ka khada ho jayega you know i will i might lose on my Correct. wage Correct. and Correct. things like that so i need a counseling Hmm. i need uh, a lot of motivation hmm. a counseling and a support by a doctor hmm. to make me understand how important it is to you know get your uh, test done hmm. or uh, to get your consultation done from Correct. from a specialist or Correct. like that that you know so that that referral follow up call it as a false positive very referral is very much important that absolutely. hand holding is important absolutely. and that's what that is also done by our helpline doctors i think that is also a very important aspect of the health like once you're done with the operation in the hospital uh, you know everything is done after that is also a very important time where people have, people are not aware ki ab kare kya ab no and know. for for so anything why, for exactly. any small investigation also yeah. you know you you should be guided. Of to, course. To the provider. And a lot of mental support. Hai. Ki, yes. uh, people know that we have somebody who can help 
us through this thing and we are right. people who will give us the correct information we and have not many, trying to take yeah, advantage are, of us. Yeah, we are hmm. we have many beneficiaries hmm. who are who are like, you know, happy, okay, doctor ne mujhe call kiya hai, to mein ab ja ke aate ho kind of, you know, Correct. so they feel, okay, nahi, kuch to genuine hai, mujhe ja ke karna hai, beautiful, so beautiful. that is important. So that is one service uh, we provide. Beautiful. We do a lot of wellness session, we conduct wellness session, right. so we can call them as health talks, something. Ah. So there are different health challenges uh, in the community, it could be malaria, fell dry, dengue, fell dry, seasonal uh, issues are there, you know, uh, few could be occupational uh, health hazards. We talk about that, right. we talk on nutrition, we talk on uh, how, you know, they can just find out some time to, uh, to do some exercises mm -hmm. and things like that. So, um, that, that is also a, a major uh, and important service uh, where the people participation uh, is uh, there. Mm -hmm. Our community representatives come up with the topics mm -hmm. where they need the guidance on health. Right. Uh, so yeah, that is that one is thing wonderful. and the other last uh, yes important service is a financial of, of help. Of course, that is your differentiator of yeah, course. So, yeah, yeah. so ma'am, financial health, now that we are talking about financial health and we are sitting on CSR life, so we are going to have to talk about CSR with you. Yes. So, pehle to main ye janna chahunga, what are your viewpoints about the CSR in India as of now? Uh, I would say uh, now from fa last uh, mm. at least five years, uh, CSR um, has been five to ten years. CSR mm. has been playing a major uh, role. Uh, it has, of course, it has a capacity to support. Um, uh, I would say a lot of development work. Okay. Let it be in terms of health, education, or wherever. Uplift has been fortunate to mm. uh, get a CSR support. Mm. Uh, that is the best example what mm. a CSR support can impact. Mm. Uh, so from around, uh, I mean, since since its, its inception, mm. we have been getting the CSR support. Mm. Uh, though I mean, at that time it was like a Tieto in a company. Mm -hmm. Today it is Quorum Softwares who are supporting us. Uh, and the impact is that uh, you imagine our field worker going mm. in the community mm -hmm. and uh, so so we have a beneficiary in Rajasthan, we mm. have a beneficiary in rural India, we have mm. uh, rural Maharashtra, mm. Gujarat, urban uh, Pune, Mumbai and such cases where we used to uh, take 45 to 60 days to mm. process a financial mm. uh, aid ka application. Matlab, main bimar pad gai, mm. I uh, I get got treated, mm. uh, I got hospitalized, I got treated. Uh, once I discharged, I had to submit the papers for the financial help, Correct. right? Correct. But it it used to uh, take us 45 to 60 days to, to reimburse the, to that process, help. Right, yes, right. but because of the uh, software, so we mm. have uh, our in-house software All right. uh, on mutual insurance, mm -hmm. and it is supported by uh, Quorum Softwares, oh, and right. they are doing the CSR for us. All right, that's amazing. The whole process. We are the only so ones, yeah. uh, one mutual again yeah. in India who yeah. has its own web-based so, uh, software. That is so nice. That that would make the process so much faster. Yeah. For the people so from to forty-five input. to sixty days yeah. today, we can process this application in four hours. Imagine, and this is what CSR can do basically yes. to get the right support. Yes. So, ma'am, what does what type of support does organizations like Uplift look out for? Through, like you know, by the corporations in yeah. India right now. Uh, so, so um, certainly we would like to um, be supported by the organizations who are already, uh, uh, say, in mm. livelihood, mm. who are already willing to uh, see the change in the health insurance mm -hmm. sector, Correct. who are actually ready to promote uh, such kind of a model. Mm -hmm. Um, it's not only about charitable health services, but mm. who are ready to see the sustainable impact Absolutely. Uh, on the health of the community and the group. Absolutely. Uh, so anyone mm. who is, uh, uh, I would say, interested mm. 
in making people responsible and promoting the, all the corporates out there. Yes, uh, yes. The, so I would urge and request uh, all the corporates uh, to give us an opportunity to come ahead to understand this uh, model, which is I would say is not uh, just working in the charitable health or neither. Uh, you know, uh, neither uh, giving the risk away or transferring the risk to the commercial insurance, but it's making people uh, participate, making them responsible towards health. We have a very strong governance model also, Absolutely. wherein people take the, uh, I already mentioned that they uh, help or they do uh, product designing, implementation, uh, healthcare providers are networking, mm -hmm. they, they uh, tell us. But not only that, they do take the claims decision. So I would urge all the uh, commercial uh, sector and the companies to support us, uh, you know, to take this model to Absolutely. millions. And not only the corporates, uh, who to, of course, I'm sure that they are seeing and they will be seeing and they already know the amazing work that Uplift uh, has been doing and will do in the future. Uh, I would also like to reach out to all the people watching us to, you know, uh, actually see what differences organizations like uplift make in the in the in the in the world out there in our country out there how exactly do they help people how exactly what kind of a different model they are following because uplift is as ma'am mentioned quite a lot of times with us that it's not a, a normal just uh, an organization working in the health sector they are differentiating themselves by providing micro insurance that is so new to the people who do not get the same opportunities for whom the uh, you know accessing good uh, health uh, benefits are unaffordable having good health facilities are unaffordable yeah, and so uh, as ma'am also mentioned that people can help themselves by becoming a part right. of the uplift so organization we are we right? are trying to uh, work on the sdgs Absolutely, no, uh, yeah. to have no poverty Correct. to have uh, wellness uh, well-being uh, of the people and of course the gender equality, gender equality also there, because we know um, we know how it works in the in terms of uh, education, Absolutely. health of a girl, child, or a, Absolutely. Uh, so, so that yes. is that is amazing work, ma'am. That uh, you, uh, everybody here at Uplift has been doing. And uh, again, thank you so much for joining us and you know uh, giving us your time and uh, talking to us about everything. The taking us through the whole journey uh, since the inception to what Uplift is as of now, as of today. And I'm sure that we're going to meet again and we're going to talk very soon sure. and we're going to talk what other milestones has Uplift uh, achieved. And I'm sure that uh, this video will also create an impact with the corporates and uh, corporates will reach out to you more and more to uh, help you with all the other potential projects you guys have planned for the future. Sure. So thank you again, man. Thank you. Thank you. So you. Much. Thank you thank so you. much. Thank, thank you, you guys for watching. Yeah, thank you. Thank you so much.